Hey guys, Johnny Good here for realhomestudio.com. Today, taking a look at Tape Cassette 2. As always, just before we dive straight in, I want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe up to the channel. And if you've got something to say, please do drop it in the comments box below. Okay, so here we are with Tape Cassette 2. You can grab it right now, as I did from pluginboutique.com. It's a free product, and if you're after a little bit of nostalgic saturation, then Tape Cassette 2 may well be worth a go. As I mentioned, it's free, so you can go grab it, download it, and why not give it a try? Uh, it's got some great ratings on here, which is kind of what attracted me to it. If you're looking for something that's going to give you that kind of more lo-fi, broken-up tape cassette sound, and this is well worth checking out. Compatible with Mac OS X 10.11 and above, 64-bit only, and with PC2 from Windows 7 onwards. Let's dive in, check out the plugin. Off the bat, a nice little touch from Tape Cassette 2 is that you can change the size of the plugin. I know your laptop users love that if you're using a relatively small screen. I think it's a really nice touch. More plugins um, need this. I think a lot of people find that really handy. Um, off the bat, just looking at Tape Cassette 2, it looks really well, well equipped. We've got these VU meters on the left and right. Um, we've got auto gain, I can see here. We've got saturation, low pass filter. Then we can dial in all our tapey goodness or badness, depending how you remember it. Um, Using a tape emulation always kind of makes me laugh a little bit. I remember back in the day, you know, using the old Porter Studios. I'm sure anyone um, has also had the pleasure of using cassette Porter Studios. Kind of can see the comedy of actually now trying to recreate that sound. I mean, it's kind of cool to be able to dive back in and recreate that sound for a bit for a certain piece. Not totally convinced I'd like to live back in that world again. Uh, so very much enjoy being able to dial in the tapey goodness when I want to. Uh, and not when I don't. <laughs> Tape Cassette 2 looks really, really cool. So I've um, grabbed this plugin because I'm doing um, a lot of lo-fi kind of stuff at the moment. This seems like a no-brainer. One of the big things with lo-fi music is kind of not being too bright, rolling off some of that top end, and of course getting some of that sort of saturation and a little bit of that breakup in as well. So I've dropped Tape Cassette 2 straight onto uh, my mix bus because I, I would think like, Drums would be another obvious choice for this kind of plugin. But anything that you want to rough up with tapiness, then uh, um, Tape Cassette 2 has kind of got you covered. Okay, so let's check out Tape Cassette 2. Um, before I engage it, let's just take a listen to the music I'm working on. Now I've just reset Tape Cassette 2. Another nice touch actually is a double click on these knobs that will reset it back to uh, its sort of factory setting if you like, how it first arrives. I like that, Analog Obsession do that on a lot of their plugins. Um, and uh, it's another really nice touch actually, just makes Tape Cassette 2 quite usable. Let's engage it, just take a listen. Straight off the bat with minimal settings, you can hear a lot of that uh, high end's already getting rolled off. It's already getting that lo-fi sound. So let's just dial in some of the saturation. You can hear now and see from those handy VU meters that we're driving that tape. taking down the output a bit now. Of course, if we didn't want to do that, we can engage auto gain. And still drive the tape hard. But not have to worry about it getting too loud. You can hear it really breaks up there. Of course, we've got our low pass filter. So we can dial that right down, all the way down to 5K. Oh, remember that. <laughs> it's nice actually having a little bit of noise floor. Wow, well, flutter. So we can really mangle it up. That sound reminds me of, uh, you know, when you, uh, if you remember tape, uh, 
when you get a real mangled one, <laughs> you track in, you pull it out of your, your recorder and you're like, oh man, and there's tape everywhere. You've got to like wind it back in with a pencil or even worse, if it's, if it's torn, like stick it together with a bit of sticky tape. A number of few projects ended up sounding like that. Pretty conservative with this stuff on a mix bus. really dulled that track down coupled with vinyl which I looked at the other day um, perhaps on you know on this little drum bus here coupled with vinyl it's they're a great couple of plugins for this kind of sound So there's a whole bunch of little cool uh, presets as well, which you can dial in and have a play around with just to get you started as well on tape cassette too. Um, much like vinyl, it doesn't feel like a free plugin, which is really cool, well worth grabbing. I think tape cassette too is a really nice creative plugin. Um, you know, great for lo-fi stuff that I'm doing here, but just for little things, if you want to create like a, a little break in a track, um, you know, this could be a good plugin which you might want to reach for just to bring stuff down so you can bring it all back up in again in your music. You know, it gives you a bit of a production tool and a creative tool. Does not feel like a free plugin at all, guys. It's really well equipped um, and well worth grabbing for free. As I said, it's on Plugin Boutique right now. You can go and grab it. My name's Johnny Good for realhomestudio.com. I really hope you enjoyed that review today. If you want to go grab Tape Cassette 2, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Most importantly, guys, go and have yourselves a great day.